Hi there, this is Rajat from EGMAT. In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through Christos's account and show you how by following metrics and, and doing things in the right sequence, Christos was able to make his preparation much more predictable than was in his prior attempt. So with that, let's kind of set some context here. Now, Christos, when he joined the, you know, the EGMAT course, he was at a 690 with a verbal score of 31 and a quant score of 49. Now, he eventually was able to get to a 750. Clearly, a majority of this improvement had to come from verbal. Why? Because quant was a little threshold for him. You know, from 49, you can go to 50 or 51 or so. Um, when he got to that 750 score, he his verbal score improved to 41 and his, his, his quant score improved to 50. Now, this was despite the fact that, uh, that he actually had to take, I mean, he left two or three questions on verbal. He actually was a, was a B44, B45 kind of student which is something that you would see on his um, EGMAT account. So with that, let's kind of get to his EGMAT account. And one of the first things, and if you've not read his debrief, I'd recommend you go and read, read it because it's a very well-written debrief, is that the first thing he did was that he went through the master comprehension course. Now, mind you, this guy was already at a verbal 31, but because we diagnosed that he had problems in, in how he reads sentences, he went through the course. Um, he went through the entire course. These the, the introduction and the warm-up module were enhancements that were done post him doing going through the course. So, so there's nothing uh, uh, lacking in his diligence. But but I mean his scores in pause points, his scores in building block blocks of sentence. These were excellent scores. And 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 these ones over here are big uh, concepts that he went through, and he went through them very diligently. Post that, he actually finished the sentence correction course. Again, you're going to see how much time he spent in, in the sentence correction course. Again, excellent metrics when you look at concept quizzes, 93%, practice quizzes, 96%. And again, these are um, pretty long modules. You would see the, the, the extent of diligence. Um, verbs application, difficult file to score 100% on all the quizzes there. Shows a level, requires a level of diligence that you have to demonstrate throughout the module. Or so similarly verbs concept practice quiz two uh, this is an excellent score here and the very fact that uh, you know he got that in the first attempt that is um, that is excellent by the way as a new feature we now actually also monitor how much time you spend reviewing this this wasn't available um, uh, during Christos's time this is a brand new feature that we added three days back so so that's why this time isn't captured over here um, Again, similarly, modifiers. Again, you, the scores, the, the saga of good scores continues. Again, lots, lots of 100%. 100%. And, and, and in comparison, again, really excellent scores. So overall, this shows that he was um, he's a diligent student. Uh, we see a very similar um, uh, quality displayed in, in critical reasoning. Again, infants, fairly long module. And you can see excellent scores here. Also, he did pretty much all of pre-thinking and all of evaluate. With that, um, he got a very solid foundation on how to do pre-thinking. Now, for those of you who've read his debrief, um, you know he really talks about he could not believe uh, over here uh, that how by mastering pre-thinking, he was not only able to get high accuracy, but also was able to reduce his time to answer questions. We can see this in um, in his Colorinium stats. So let's go to his Colorinium account. And, and just, you know, over here in two minutes, I can gauge that he's a, a 90th percentile student or, or even a higher percentile student. Why? Because you can go into hard accuracy. As you can see really good accuracy. But as I go towards last 20 questions, you can see, again, excellent accuracy, way higher than the 55% threshold. When I go to medium questions, this is almost perfect. I mean, his likelihood to make a mistake in medium questions is practically zero, uh, one in 20 here, uh, you know, three out of 20 here or so. Also, you can see how he's done cementing in, in sentence correction, excellent scores in medium cementing quizzes, uh, almost perfect in pretty much every quiz, hard cementing, really good scores as well. Uh, similarly with critical reasoning, good scores, I mean, 100% in medium cementing is excellent. Also pretty good scores over here in hard cementing. I mean, these are hallmarks of a student who's uh, who's understood stuff and you can see his timing over here is also excellent in this case now we can see the same thing in quant remember this guy was already at a q49 so all he had to do was fix his weaknesses and 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 as you go to his quant dashboard you again see uh, evidence of the same let's go to hard questions excellent accuracy way high way above the, the threshold 
go to last 20 and that number further improves in pretty much every subsection I think it's just a small reduction in number of properties but still way above the threshold now as I mentioned you know this guy was very diligent and, and you see evidence of this diligence as you look at his attempts dashboard uh, he's still practicing around the 9th of October here this is a quiz on which um, he scored 90 percent and anyone over here would, would be really happy scoring 90 percent um, but he was uh, really diligent with regards to how he reviewed these quizzes so I'm going to go to the results screen and this is just a summary of the results and you say okay you know everything else seems good these word problems um, seem slightly off and, and is there a real issue so that's where the AI helps you evaluate these quiz results and you can see these pieces over here we look at three things your timing influence your luck factor and your rush through factor and in this case the timing influence is high why do we say that because there are two questions where that he got wrong which were towards the end one of them was in word problems um, where he took a minute where he should have at least taken two minutes and 16 seconds and there's the other question which was in sets again questions towards the end when he didn't have enough time and um, and, and, and he rushed through them and got them wrong okay um, there were also questions that he probably should have gotten uh, incorrect but he got them right uh, this is a, a probability question again you can see the question number 24 he took just about a minute the average person takes about two minutes 33 seconds to answer this question and, and how do you make sure you improve upon these mistakes the first thing you ask yourself is why is it that you took excessive time and and, and even when you answer questions correctly, expert AI recognizes that you took excessive time. Why? Because it compares the time that you took against the time that a student should have taken. And, and you can see the, the exact stats over here. Um, here again, this is the time that he took, and this is how people who answer this question correctly have taken. It's way beyond the median time um, in this case. And this isn't a hard question. About 70% of the people get this question right, but yet, um, you know in this case he took some a lot longer because of which he made mistakes towards the end now what's the benefit of this the benefit of this is that um, let's go back to the quiz review screen the benefit of this is that you know as he reviews his mistakes here um, he will fix them or as he reviews these questions there he'll fix these mistakes and, and as a result on the actual test he would not take longer he would not be short on time now, one last thing that I want to show over here is that um, in his mock attempts, and let's go to Sigma X mock here, he was doing really well. Let's go to Sigma X mock dashboard. And, and you can see just in his mock prior to, to his test, he, he had a 780, uh, a V45 and, and a Q50. Now, clearly showing that had he not taken that water break during the actual test, he could have replicated this performance on, on the real test. And this V45 is composed of excellent abilities all across SCCR and RC. So again, what's the takeaway? Um, you know, V31 to V41, or in his case, you know, it should have been V45, but improvement is very much possible. And in about 45 to 50 days or so, if you put in the effort, if you're diligent while studying, and if you stay focused as you go through these lessons, and as long as you apply the methods to hit the metrics, that's all. If you need help improving your verbal score or your quant score um, in, in, the, in 30 to 60 days, write to me at rajat at e-schema.com.